friends, Natasha with Natasha Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with another uh, project and series Shabby Christmas in July Art Mail uh, uh, um, series and this is uh, a watercolor tag alright so uh, one of the requirements was to create two Shabby Christmas tags uh, so um, the base uh, for the tags is a watercolored cardstock that I uh, printed on a digital image. And uh, this particular uh, thing um, I'm, I'm going to show you it was a stocking. In another one, it was Magnolia Tilda digitalized stamps. And I colored them with the uh, uh, clear uh, clean color watercolored markers and I use the um, Lindy's um, Stam Yang uh, sprays for um, the creating a background okay so um, what I wanted to um, start showing you how I uh, package them okay so and then we're gonna go into each tag individually so basically what I did I, I took this metal clip and I altered it so on uh, one ear I put a couple laces on the other ear I put uh, a dangle charm and on each connection right there in between each crystal I um, tied in the um, snippet of the lace and to cover that front metal clip look I used the snippet of the lace and topped it with this gorgeous uh, dangle uh, bow trim from NSK. NSK carries a variety of bling trims and plastic trims, you name it. So um, check that out. And for simplicity of the packaging, um, you can find um, vintage crochet doilies in NSK as well. So a little bit promo to my store, so go ahead and check it out. But what a simple way to uh, decorate your um, you know to decorate your uh, presentation instead of wrapping it in cellophane and all that uh, fancy stuff so all right so this is um, again what a colored cardstock and uh, I printed out this um, image of uh, the stocking um, it kind of um, uh, looks like sorry the the you know, you know always we're looking into the um, um, glue strings um, so I colored um, I printed out the image it the image looked to me almost like uh, this magnolia tilde um, uh, look like Norwegian uh, northern you know Norwegian um, sh shabby Christmas if you know what I mean um, and I really like that kind of like shabby look of it and feel of it so I chose this image it's actually basically image for coloring you pull it off Pinterest and I printed it out in here and uh, I started to color and I was coloring it again with the clean color water I'm sorry watercolor markers um, and I try to stay as light as possible those markers are coming really although they watercolors but they are coming really really bright um, and uh, it's actually really a challenge to keep them kind of down watered down per se right so um let's concentrate on that image again so 
here's the stocking uh, on top you got Christmas tree and apple some uh, Christmas flourishes the big metal jingle bell the little uh, birdie house and the candy cane with that um, little uh, um, thread tied into the end and here's this dangling heart with a little birdie how adorable is that and I love that print um, that almost like a plaque um, or actually you know kind of like Mackenzie's child's you know that print um, then this little cute stars and sorry there is a cup cup covered in here by the leaves right there there is a back to the stocking also colored really cute and those little cute hearts they came out so adorable and I love how I uh, uh, reach that uh, fading effects with the watercolor and so I'm getting better learning about it more um, you know coming back to add more color you know water it down so it's a process you definitely uh, it's a learning curve but I'm very pleased with uh, how this coloring actually came out and then I came back and stickled it all so and uh, I use the pre-printed image I cut it out and you see I layered it and then sprayed it with the Lindy's uh, just only once I sprayed it with that blue and that pink and once was enough uh, on the postcard I really over, like did it like too much so um, I zoomed you in so we can see the details uh, more. So this is a regular card stock uh, from those hot buys, regular you know card stock that you um, you can buy at Michaels. And I chose the pink pink card stock, and um, I used. Let me get it out. This is the Heartfelt Creations. This particular die. And this is um, Raindrops on Roses. The code is HCD743. So it has that uh, doily the very lacy detail doily and that ornament and that's the part that I used right there yeah I absolutely love that die and it comes like a series of dies I think there are several uh, in that line so uh, if you want to uh, look into them they're older ones so I um, stickled it with the glossy accent and glitter or you can use a stickle the effect will be probably about the same I just added a little shimmer to the regular plain cardstock you see the difference right there this one is not glittered and this is glittered so I just added just a little sparkle in some elements like in swirl heart and on the on the swirly parts I just added some bling and gems and pearls I thought it would give us like really cute finished uh, look and so sorry it's kind of curling and I don't want to undo because everything gonna start popping out so um, here's the uh, again that's stocking um, on the bottom probably gonna be better to uh, take you that way instead of the other way and then work um, up so on the bottom I used um, uh, all, all of it in escape um, products so here is this uh, cotton lace right there I'm holding I'm sorry uh, so it ends right there and it has that um, you know almost like a uh, chevron no uh, chicken wire a uh, netting in here but it's all cotton very smooth soft and thick I love the quality of this uh, particular uh, uh, lace 
So it, and it has that uh, really cute uh, three flower ending right here under that uh, arc. And I use an escape bling and some of those flat back pearls uh, from their recollections or whichever they were. Then I used this um, dangle trim uh, and it's really, really cute. I have it actually handy right here. So look, it has, you see like that little um, dangle, like a little, and um, this almost like a tree. Well, you can use it as a Christmas tree if you're gonna be using it for Christmas. But anyway, this is like really cute um, dangle trim very lightweight and it's not as thick as the other cotton one uh, so it gives you quite a bit of movement to the project which is absolutely great uh, so let me tinkle it so that's layered on top and to cover all the edges uh, this is becoming one of my favorite uh, trims that just got in stock. This is this tiny flat back heart trim. This is so adorable. Oh my goodness, I cannot even, I can't even express how much in love I am. And it's lightweight, which is an, another great plus. All right, so I don't have handy with this particular trim, but this is um, an applique, like 3D applique flower with a pearl with this dangle. So each flower has its, each ap flower applique has its own dangle. So that is like really, really cool. So, and it's long. Yeah, it's all like almost seven inches six seven inches something like that all right so um we are done with the bottom part which is very lush and sparkly how it's supposed to be for shabby christmas and we're coming up back to our colored stocking and the floral arrangement that i created in here using the uh die cuts the paper die cuts i used these spell binders again the spell binders foliage uh, six uh, dies uh, the leaves and this particular one right there and this is one of my favorites and the code is the number is s4328 for this particular die I absolutely love it very nice die uh, so I uh, glittered the edges of each individual leaf and look how shimmery and sparkly it is. Uh, this is actually a Prima flower and um, they came in the package and look how flat they are without that shimmer. Um, and look what the difference is now. <laughs> how shimmery they are. <laughs> Um, and the last but not least um, element in here, this is again one of the new Escape products. This is the floral applique, the leaf, and it has that little swirl on top and swirl on the bottom. And I put a little pearl in there and I didn't attach it so it will get some movement. So, um, and the back is just very simple, nothing in there. So there you have it. This is um, my um, stocking. Watercolor. Uh, shabby Christmas. Uh, Prima and a skate tag. <laughs> So if you are not sick and tired of me chit-chatting with you here and you would like to see the process, speed up process uh, video on this particular tag, stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.